In this UPDF review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about UPDF. If you have any comments, please leave them down below, and I'll also be sure to leave a discounted link down there so you'll always get your money's worth for UPDF. UPDF is a one-stop work PDF solution. This is what you should see once you've actually logged into the software and also downloaded it. As you can see here, it is pretty simple and it's a pretty bland open page. There's not a lot going on. So after downloading it and opening it, you should land on this page, the same page as me. In this review, I'm going to quickly run over each feature and then we're going to dive deep into each one as we go along. I'm going to show you guys what the software UPDF actually does. So straight off the bat, as you can see up here in the top left corner, you've got the UPDF logo. And then to the right of that, you've actually got a file button. If you are to click that, it should open this and you can either create a new tab, a new window, open a file, close a tab, close your window, set any preferences, or even quit UPDF. To the right of that, we've also got a help button if you want any help with the software. And then to the right of that, we have our tab. In this middle section, you can see there's not a lot going on, so we're gonna go ahead and actually work on that. You can see that there's an open file button right here. And when you click the open file button, it should open up your desktop's files. Now what you wanna do after that is actually go and find your PDF that you want to import and choose it. Once you have imported your PDF, you can see it gets a lot more full. I've just went with an artist invoice here in case you are an artist or any form of PDF will actually do. So I did go with an invoice so we can go ahead and see the features of UPDF. All the way to the left hand side here, you've got your tools. Just to the right of that, you've got your pages. And then in this main section here is where everything would be edited. All the way to the right, you've got export PDF, save as a PDF, protect using a password, send file by email, and you can also recognize any text. To the left, you've got a reader, you've got a comment button, an edit PDF button, organize pages, crop pages, or even add a watermark and a background. Up in this main top section right here, you can zoom in and out of your PDF like so. And to the right of that, you can set where your pages are at. You can choose to go to the next page or the last page fully. So we're gonna go ahead and fill in this PDF as if we're an artist and we need the money that we're owed. I'm gonna go ahead and use each feature of UPDF just to show what it's actually like using this on an actual PDF that you would want. So what you wanna do next is go to the comment section on the left and once you click on that, it should open up this toolbar up here. You can choose to highlight anything, strike through anything, underline anything. You can add a text, text box, sticky note, pencil, eraser, or even any shape. If you go ahead and click this arrow right here, it opens up more shapes and colors. So once you've clicked this text button to actually fill in any text, you can go ahead and click anywhere on the page and it should open up a text box. You wanna go ahead and type in any information that you need on your PDF on this text box and you can move it around to fit the PDF. So I went ahead and typed in an absolutely random name just off the top of my head. And once you type it in, you can actually click on it and move it about. So I went ahead and moved it to the name section right here. And if you double click it again, it should open up this where you can actually change any fonts, the sizes of the fonts, or even the actual size of the text itself. You can also change the text color right below it if you would want a different text color. However, as it is now at nine pixels, it does actually fit it quite well. So we're gonna go ahead and keep it as that. I'm gonna go through and fill out this first information just to show you guys how it actually looks once it's all filled. So as you're running through, you can keep clicking on the text box up here and adding it to keep adding your text. I went ahead and added a company name and now I'm just gonna go ahead and type in a random street address. There you go, there's a random street address and it has all of the settings we've already put on our text, which is good. And you can go ahead and just drag this down and line it up perfectly with your PDF. Again, you can go ahead and click text comment and just click anywhere on the page and it should add it like a normal text box. I just went ahead and made up a random code and again, you can drag it there and line it up perfectly to where you want it. And there you go, that is all of the main information filled out for your invoice if you were making an invoice on UPDF. As you can see, it was all pretty easy. All I had to do was click this button right up here and just add any text and change the fonts easily depending on what I would like. So I went ahead and just added all this to my liking. It's just any random information, none of it is real. And you would just go ahead and do that for the same part in the next and then for this area over here. 
right below the comment section on the left hand side you can actually go ahead and just edit the pdf straight up and you can go ahead and edit any form of text that is already on your pdf so if i went ahead and clicked this now on my pdf i can actually go ahead and remove this and let's just say we were not an artist and we were a video editor and you can go ahead and easily change that by this section you can go ahead and move it anywhere you like right there would be good and you can also delete or add any images so again as it isn't an artist invoice anymore i can go ahead and right click this and i can delete the image if you scroll down to the bottom payment area you can also go ahead and change any of this information or any other things that have been added you can change images like i've shown and other text box back on the left hand side if you want to go ahead and organize pages as the next part you can actually move pages just like that and flip them either way around depending on where you want your pages on the pdf up here you have your toolbar for this area you can either insert a page replace a page extract a page or even split it up you can go ahead and also bin any pages here if you would like back to the left hand side you can actually crop any pages it should zoom you out and we can go ahead and adjust anything right here to go ahead and crop any pages if we would like once you have done that, you can either choose to revert changes if you don't like the changes you've made, and you can actually click the options button to show any options if you would want to scale it to a certain size. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and click crop in the top right corner here, and it should crop your PDF. Finally, we're gonna go ahead to the watermark and background section. Once you click on that, you can actually add a watermark to your PDF, or you can even add a background. You wanna go ahead to the right hand side here where it says click add to create a watermark, all the way down at the bottom, there is the add button. If you would click that, all of this opens up and you can go ahead and add any watermarks you wish. And there we go, that is it for the UPDF review. Overall, it is a great PDF editing software and I would definitely use it myself. A few features I liked is how you can actually edit any PDF templates that you have imported anyway, rather than having it all be the exact same of how you downloaded it in the first place. Another feature I liked is how you can actually add text easily and move it about however you want. UPDF is definitely the place to go. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.